Here's another famous name in ham radios, Kenwood Original TMV71A Dual Band Amateur Mobile Transceiver. It's been around for a while now, and though its age shows, it remains one of the more impressive options. Thanks to its age and popularity, there are countless tutorials and instructions available for this Kenwood radio. Well, the setup isn't exactly easy. Beginners can rely on these tutorials and walkthroughs for information. Coming back to the radio, its appearance is quite similar to the classic car radio audio system. That is understandable since this is a mobile radio. Users can place it at home for use or mounted in their vehicle. Kenwood includes a sturdy bracket to allow mounting in. A large display dominates the front of this radio. Orange and green are available as two backlight color options here and it's possible to change its brightness. Right below the screen is a series of buttons and knobs that handle the functioning of this unit. These include switching channels, volume control, squelch control, and the ability to move from one band, 144 MHz, to the other, 440 MHz. This change is not without its fault. While the radio can monitor two bands, it seems to give up scanning the other band as soon as you start transmitting on one band. The included mic handles voice transmission well and feels pretty great in the hand. Backlit control buttons are available on the mic, though there is no option for changing the light color here. And that's okay. The light is mild enough, and the buttons here are easy to use and responsive. Alphanumeric keys on the mic are good for handling various functions on the mobile radio. Since it connects to an external power source, the radio can offer to output higher power. The radio can transmit at 50 watts and has a rather impressive range to go along with it. Kenwood includes another interesting piece of classic car radio wisdom for this unit. The front panel is removable and you can carry it with you to discourage theft in the parked car. Good alternatives to the Kenwood TMV718 would be the Yaesu FT8800 and FT8900. Yaesu's offerings are very similar to Kenwood, and there are a few points where they do better, and some points where they're worse. The good points are independent memory for each VFO, hyper memory, and more ways to see the output power. Meanwhile, Kenwood has a better managed front display, easier programming, and more programmable buttons. Yaesu also lacks customizable light colors for the display. Customizable light might seem superficial, but they are actually quite practical. An old warhorse, Kenwood Original TMV71A Dual Band Amateur Mobile Transceiver delivers impressive power and voice clarity. Its setup is not the easiest, but there are plenty of freely available guides and tutorials to help beginners through the setup. As a downside, this is an old model. If you prefer to keep up with the times and more features, it's worthwhile to look at other radios. Overall, this is the best premium ham radio for beginners. So what do you think? Is this the best ham radio for you? Or do you think another radio is better? Check another video where we reviewed the top five ham radios for beginners and see if any of these is a better option for you. Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.